All right, the next thing is the sample preparation and loading procedure. So you're going to go into this drawer here. Inside here you'll see uh, these boxes labeled T0 pan and T0 lid. You'll grab those. You'll also grab a thermoplastic uh, pellet, razor blade, and a pair of tweezers. And you're going to bring these, um, basically you're going to cut a little slice off of that pellet. Um, and this is going to weigh uh, three to five milligrams or so. That's the kind of sample size you want for the DSC. Something that's pretty thin um, that will be able to allow the pan lid to sit, sit flat. So we're going to take all of these things over to our uh, balance, which is over here. Normally you wouldn't carry this across the room and just like, cut it by the scale. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the pan and lid and we're going to tear them on this, uh, this balance here. This is like a very precise balance. For these containers, you want to be careful in that it looks like the, the lid would be the other way around, but uh, the top is kind of big and comes off. Otherwise, you might spill them all over the place. So, we're going to take one of these pans and uh, open up this door. And this, uh, they're made of aluminum, so you want to be fairly gentle so you don't uh, bend the aluminum. So you can take a pan and a lid if you want, or it doesn't really matter, you could take just a pan. Okay, then we're going to tear it in here, so just hit re-zero. The scale will say zero. Open it up and pop in your polymer. I'm going to do it from the other side. It's easier. Pop it right in the middle. Close these doors. And this has a decimal point here. So this Whatever the third point is, is the number of milligrams. So this is actually a pretty heavy sample, but it might have some water in it too. So this is 7.47. 7. You notice it kind of will drift also. So you can call it 7.5, 7 7.45 milligrams. Okay, then we're gonna drop the, uh, the pan top. On top. And you'll notice like it's convex up, so it's like a bowl inside a bowl. And you also try to put the sample right in the middle of the pan bottom, you see that? Um, that's to make it easier to crimp down the pan lid later. And you also want the pan lid to sit kind of flat in there. You don't want it to be um, pushed up one way or the other too much. Then we're gonna take this pan and we're gonna bring it over to the crimper. Um, again, it's not ideal to carry this stuff across the room, so you might want to put them all together. Okay, for this, we are going to take out this black piece and put this pan on the inside of that. Okay, and then we're going to take this and slide it into the crimper. So it kind of goes back and down. And then, it's very easy, just pull this lid forward. It doesn't take any effort at all. So don't push down on it, because it's like a $600 crimper. Then you can look at the top, and you can see like a little bit of the, the bump from the sample underneath it. That's to show you that it's crimped. Okay, these are not hermetic pans, so they don't seal anything airtight, so it's just to basically close it up. Then we're gonna take this lid off, You'll notice there's a little like mock-up here for reference and sample to show you where they should go. Then you're going to take off the secondary lid and the third lid. So you see that basically this one is the reference and this one is the sample. So we're going to take out the old sample and you want to be very gentle with this because it's a sensitive instrument. And they're going to pop in the new one. So I hold it from the top like that it over, try to center it on that little stage down there. And then that's pretty much it. 
Just pop the lids back on. And the big cap. And then as soon as you see the flange temperature get down to like minus uh, 70 or 80 or so, then you can double click this uh, arrow icon and that will start the run.